Water banking is a process by which we uh, allow uh, our surplus supplies to percolate into the ground. Uh, it is then stored in the ground with uh, little or no loss as compared to a, um, a lake someplace. Wilderton Lake and Bryant Dam, Hensley Lake and Hidden Dam, San Joaquin River. From this point to the north, historically, the gravity force analogy can use to flip the switch. In county, county who by law are required to have a drought scale clock. The mm -hmm. bank can supply mm -hmm. during those two or three years and ten when it's wet. It's, it's a very important part of, of um, what we need to do in our state uh, because we do have these particularly wet years um, when we have access to so supplies that at the particular time they're occurring uh, we don't have demand for and so to conserve those supplies as we, we are now here uh, we can bank those supplies for future use. And so that's also sort of, I don't know, you see all sure. the farming. You know, it's Uh, groundwater is not regulated very tightly in California. Uh, in fact, it's barely regulated in California. And um, people have been pumping water out of the ground for years to supplement water they can't get on the surface during droughts. As a result, that wa those aquifers are drained down considerably. Uh, so from an environmental standpoint, it makes sense to put water back into the aquifer because it frankly affects water quality. Um, as your water goes down, you get more concentrated chemicals and minerals and those sorts of things, and the water simply becomes unusable after a while. The other reason that it is uh, uh, popular to at least talk about it right now is that it's a storage issue. Building dams are, is very expensive. Uh, siting reservoirs is an extremely long process. And the aquifers are there. So pumping water into the aquifer and then being able to pump it back out makes a lot of sense if you're in the pumping business. One way in which we can be more efficient with the water that we have is to take the water when it is available, when we have surplus water, uh, and actually store it for future use. The best way of storing water for future use, if you look at all of the pros and cons, is to bank it in groundwater uh, uh, aquifers. There are questions about other people pumping the groundwater out. There's a possibility that you try to pump more water 
out, then you've actually been able to store and not lose. Uh, there are economic issues and there are environmental issues. All of those need to be addressed if we're going to make groundwater banking work.